Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. And we actually stopped on that island right back there and replaced our sails. The ship just was not moving as fast as I thought it should. Uh, even with keeping the weight down, we dropped one of our cargo containers there. Um, it just wasn't moving as fast as I thought it was. So I stopped there, redid some stuff. I've got two large speed cells and one small speed cell on now. I took that handling cell off. And uh, while we were on the island, uh, we actually tamed us up a horse. Uh, it was just kind of stuck in the trees, not moving. It was a very easy tame. Just walked up to it, put one billboard in, uh, one billboard in behind it to keep it from running away it couldn't go the other way because of the trees and it was a very easy tame uh, on the horse there but I did notice that the water here uh, is very murky the water over by our home area uh, the settlement is clear the water here seems to be very murky it was in this region uh, when I first noticed it so I'm not sure I'm interested now to see what the water looks like in the different regions. I thought it would look the same throughout the whole atlas, but apparently the water is going to be different. So we're still working our way over to, oops, zoom out, still working our way over. We're in J5. We're still working our way over to A6. So you can see we're there. And we also uh, put a little outpost there. So I just built a little shack threw a bed down uh, that way if we need to fast travel there if anybody wants to fast travel there we put a oh oh watch what you're doing watch what you're doing oh they popped up out of nowhere oh they're gonna aggro don't aggro on us we've got no cannons and yeah, there's a lesson learned keep your eyes on the horizon don't be showing the map I think from now on we'll show the map when we're stopped and not traveling into ships of the dam to get blown to smithereens. But anyway, we put a shipyard there too. Um, the plan is, as I go across the Atlas, to put up outposts periodically throughout the regions. Uh, maybe every three regions over from the home region, just stop, build a little outpost, put a bed. That way, if anybody wants to fast travel over to those regions, take a look around, um, maybe tame an animal or two we we're going to put a small shipyard up that way they can build a schooner uh, whatever animal they tame they can put on the schooner and take back with them if they want or we could have blizzard and his brigantine or maybe one of the other guys with a brigantine maybe callie uh, she's building a brigantine also maybe she'll travel around and pick up tames uh, not sure how we want to do it yet but we're going to put those outposts up. I'm not going to stop at every island in this region just now. It would make sense to go ahead and stop at the island since we're in this region, but I really want to get over to A6 and see how long it's going to take. Um, it was going to take a while with those old sails on. We were. It took us almost two hours just to get to J5 from where we were at in M5, and that was way too slow, way too slow. We're going to hit this shipwreck right here. and. Um, now with these speed cells on, we should be over to A5 fairly quickly as long as we can catch favorable winds. That was the other thing too. Sometimes the winds were working against us and we were having to uh, go southwest and then northwest to catch the wind to get back and forth instead of just being able to go directly west. Um, not sure how you're supposed to catch the wind when it's going against you it's just hard to do and sometimes it's directly against you which means you're gonna have to sail directly south or directly west and you're just not gonna get anywhere like that so I'm not a sailor never been on a sailing ship in real life maybe I could do a little bit of reading and just just figure out how they did that in the old days but we're gonna hit this ship we're gonna get back on the journey and if I see anything else along the way if I stop again along the way I'll show you guys the little outpost that I'm putting up so uh, yeah Stick around. Let's see what we get out of this shipwreck. All right. We hit that shipwreck. 56 gold. A couple of blueprints. Just the standard stuff for a 3.3 quality. Uh, now we're sailing off into the sunset. And something else I want to show you guys here. I'm going to wait for it to get dark. And we're going to cut to me using the sextant. Uh, I stopped 
right after I started the journey, I stopped and made one just to see what it was about. So apparently the sextant, you look around in the night sky when there's no clouds and you find four stars and mark them. So it's a celestial navigation technique that's been used for hundreds of years since people's been sailing. Uh, obviously nowadays not because it's GPS and all that. And as we go through the barrier to the next region, uh, it's getting dark and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But when you mark those stars, you get a boost. It throws up on the screen a compass direction where you can see where you're going without having to look at your compass. It tells you how fast you're going, tells you what current region you're in, uh, and maybe another piece of information I can't remember. But it also, when you go into the big atlas map, if you're close to those loot crates in the, in the ocean, it will show you where they're at on the map. Um, it actually marks the little treasure chest on the map, which is kind of cool, I think. Um, if they're in front of you, then you know you can just keep going. If they're to the side, if you want to turn and go get them. If not, I think I think you can unlock that skill tree. Um, let's see. Under Captain Nearing, maybe? Nope. Is it under? Yes. So, navigate it. So, yeah. Um, you can read about all that stuff. All right. We're going to buff this up a little bit before we do it again. I can always respec if I need to at one of the free ports or when we level up again. But, yeah. Let's try this and see if it's going to help us on the journey. I'm, I'm not real sure what everything is. Again, a lot of this stuff I'm learning as I go. I like to discover stuff as I go. I do watch a video here and there to figure out some stuff that stumps me. This may be one of them I have to go to YouTube and find a tutorial on and find out how exactly it helps you and how exactly to use it. But with games like this, I really enjoy just discovering stuff for myself, trying to figure it out. Um, but if you get stumped, trust me, there's plenty of help out there. We're going to level up the ship again. I think this time we're going to put it into... No, let's keep going for weight. If we do happen to find a good resource, we want to bring some back. We're going to need the weight. So I will come back after sunset and show you how I figured out to use this thing. Maybe it will help you in your game. All right, I don't know exactly what is going on here. Um, I've been trying to sail past this island for a little while now. And it seems like every time we try, we get hit with so much lag. Let's see if we can do it this time. This is actually a Freeport Island. But it keeps getting us closer and closer into the island. I'm not sure what's going on, but it would just lag. The screen would freeze up couldn't do anything and then when I come back the ship is actually pointing in that direction uh, there's the Freeport right there and I think what we'll do is when we actually start going on to the islands um, since the Freeport islands in one region are all the same um, maybe we'll just go to one of those islands and look at it check out the features of course, then if I do that, it's really not visiting every island on the Atlas. Um, I guess we're going to have to go on to every Freeport also. Because I want it to be every island on the Atlas. So we got through the whatever that lag fest was back there. It was horrible. Sun's almost down. It's going to be cloudy. Hopefully it'll clear up during the night time. And then I can show you guys what I did with those stars most of you out there probably already know this it was just new to me just like discovering the thing where your character talks when you talk that was kind of cool to me maybe you guys already know about the sextant thing if not maybe it'll help you out like i said man what a beautiful sunset this is just a beautiful game i i mean the detail on the ocean the reflection of the light the uh, sky has been nailed it's just a beautiful game. It's a great game, too. If you haven't got it yet, you think you might be interested in it, uh, I suggest it. Just buy the game and try it. It's worth it. It's one of the best games I've played in a while as far as giving you so much stuff to do. Um, 
there's not a specific storyline. You can go out and find the nine power stones, fight the Kraken. There is a story to be had in the game, um, but you don't have to do that. You don't have to go and do that if you don't want to. You can just explore, build ships, travel around, enjoy beautiful sunsets like we just saw, fight ghost ships, sunken treasure, loot chest, trade routes, who knows what else is out there that we haven't discovered yet. Simply amazing. All right, we may get lucky and it may not be too cloudy. And I think I'm going to let it get just a little bit darker. All right, no clouds. We're going to pull sails right here and see if I can do this again. Maybe I get lucky. Maybe it was just a fluke that I did it the first time and found the actual four stars. All right. No ships of the damned around. As long as none of them popped up. Let's see. Do I have the sextant in my inventory? No, I do not. Did I put it back in the box like I was supposed to? Yes, I did. All right. Now, let's walk up to the back of the ship. And I don't know if the stars are in the same position in the sky in all the different regions, but you just kind of have to look around. And when you see it, it'll have a little box around it. Oh, there we go. So there's the first one. So I'm holding down the left trigger to use the sextant. I bump the right bumper button. And it marks that star. Now we've got to, you've got a certain amount of time to find all the stars. Ah, oh, we got clouds. There's the second one. Can we do this? You've only got a certain amount of time before the thing goes away. There's the third one. Now if we can get the fourth one. If we can get, yeah, and if you look at it, it'll shoot out a shooting star. I think that's just a cool little feature. I don't think it actually does anything. Come on, we only got one more star. Where are you at? I'm not going to get lucky. Not going to get lucky. Hopefully it's not obstructed by the mast. Oh, there it is right there. Come on, come on, mark it. And that is four of four stars. And now you see at the top of the screen, we've got that directional gauge. Gives us our speed, direction, 265 degrees, and that's off north, I'm assuming. Current region, I-5, North High Desert Freeport. And it gives you your GPS. That's what I was thinking, the GPS. So down at the bottom right-hand side, you'll see a counter. It's at 1477 right now. I guess that's in seconds. That's how many seconds that it actually lasts. And, of course, if you develop that skill tree, get on down into the advanced part of it, you'll have longer to use that. Uh, let me jump into the atlas right quick. Uh, I don't think there's actually loot crates in the Freeport regions. If we get into this region, maybe it'll show those little things on the map. Let's get through the barrier and we'll see. I can say this. We're coming up on the barrier and we've had a favorable win most of the time. Uh, we had that one area right after we started where we were trying to sail into the wind for probably about a region and a half. Once we got halfway through that next region there, I don't remember which one it was. I was going to say it was one over from our home region, but I think it was two over. We got halfway through there, the wind kicked around behind us, and we've had favorable wind so far. So we're going to get through this barrier, hopefully without incident. Every time I go through these things, it makes me nervous because it, it freezes up, it lags. Sometimes... It looks like your ship is completely underwater. Uh, I've heard some of the other company members say when they go through the barrier, um, it's knocking them off of the ship, so they're grabbing onto the sails now. And you get that load screen and the freeze up and the barrier reappears behind you and then you cross your fingers and hope you don't lose your ship. And there's an island dead ahead. Turn, turn, turn. I have come through a barrier and run right into four ships of the damned and that was not fun. So now that we're not going to crash into the island, let's jump back over to the atlas and every time I'm going into my inventory here, 
today while I've been recording, it's give, giving me severe lag. I don't know if that's the regions. I don't know if it's the game overall. I'm not sure what's going on, but you can see right here, everything's just frozen. There we go. All right, nothing on the map. So I don't know if you have to be within proximity of the loot crates to see them. But I know after I did it the first time, when I went in to look at the atlas, I had little chest markers out in the water. And I was like, oh, I wonder what those are. They're sunken ships or what are they? So when I got there, it was actually the floating loot crates in the water. Uh, I don't know if it was marking um, spawn areas for them, if they spawn in the same regions all the time. I don't know. I'm not sure what that was, but I just noticed it. I should have been recording then, but oh, yep, there we go. Looking at the atlas again. Sailed right past them. How did we get so lucky and didn't get blasted? Wow, I've got to quit looking at that with all this lag. That would have been bad. Maybe the lag actually saved us that time. Ah, you slugs. So anyway, I was going to show you that, but it doesn't look like... And then sometimes it goes in there perfectly fine. And it looks like we're heading in the right direction, general right direction. Let's get turned a little more to the west. I like having that up at the top of the screen. That should be like a challenge. If you complete a challenge, you get a permanent stat increase that gives you that on the screen. All And it may be in the game, I don't know. Maybe when you do certain things, you get that all the time. Not sure if anybody, oh, there's one right there. Sneaky little bugger just popped up out of nowhere. Oh man, oh man, there's two. We gotta get those cannons finished up. Get some crew members for the cannons. That way when we do run into trouble like this, if we need to fight, we can fight. I prefer to just outrun them right now. Oh, he aggroed, he aggroed. Don't shoot at us, we're just passing through. We mean you no harm catch wind. Oh, the schooner. Oh, man, they're all over the place. That schooner aggroed quick, and that schooner is quick. No, no, don't hit my... Don't hit my... Stop blowing holes in my ship. I mean you no harm. And honest... Oh, my goodness. What is going on in this region? One, two, three, four, five. We saw six, seven, eight back there. Wow, oh no, no, what is going on right now? We're going to have to sail around. Oh, we're going to have to give him a wide berth. Oh no, he aggroed on us too. Catch wind, catch wind. Stop shooting at me. I am so glad I took time to stop and put those extra two speed cells on there. If we'd have still had the other sails, I don't know that we would have made it through that encounter. That would not have been good. We're going to get out of the range. Get out of the range. Holy mackerel. That red one looks cool, though. Up until now, I've only seen the green ones and the... Like a brownish color. I haven't seen a red one yet. And that thing is cool. What would be awesome, and I don't know that this is not in the game, I'm still learning a lot about this game, but what would be awesome is if you could get a ship skin. There's no place to put a ship skin, but it would be totally awesome if you could get a ship skin to make it look like a ship of the damned. That might be a little too much. Whew. Wow, we got through that without much damage a lot we took a couple of hits and the good thing is when you get into anchor you anchor if you've got like we've got this guy bearded john senior just hanging out back there when you anchor and you see him using a broom sweeping they're actually repairing as long as you've got resources in the ship's resource box that's them actually repairing the planks so if you if you get damaged you go in and anchor there's a lighthouse over there uh, the NPC crew members will actually repair the planks. Now, they don't repair anything that you've built on the ship. They'll do the planks and the decks, I believe. 
but all the other walls and ceilings and things that you place you actually have to replace those manually or repair those manually um, let's give ourselves a level up here I think after that we want to put a point into resistance just in case hopefully we don't get into a shooting match alright so we've shown the sextant we've outrun some ships of the damned we're going to continue our journey on to ASICS